What's going on guys, Wally back, and I just finished up my work week. Well, not really, but sort of finished it up. I kind of worked through the weekends, but honestly, who doesn't sometimes? We all work, like working to get out of bed is a job for some people, myself included. But today I wanna to talk about the Titan update and my thoughts and start that conversation, that discussion really moving forward with Titans. Did they mess it up? Did they get it right? So on and so forth. Now I wanna preface this by saying I disagree with what they're doing and the reason they're changing goals. So it says here, pretty honestly, it says, bring average KDR up so that they are competitive with other subclasses. Now I understand that KDR is incredibly important. It's what they're using to track internal stats and to see if one class is quote unquote overpowered than the other. But I'm gonna go even further than that and say that that is not the best way to do it. It's not the best way to say, look, this is how we track and to see what's overpowered or not. Community feedback may not be the best option either. And I'm not saying that this is their sole intake of information, but it is sort of silly. And the reason it's silly is because Destiny is a casual game. It's meant to be casual, especially in PvP. There are competitive PvP players out there, don't get me wrong, and those players are fantastic. But a majority of Destiny's player base is casual. They just play for fun. They don't really go out there and try to MLG their way to victory. They just want to have a good time and enjoy themselves. And I'm sure many people are incredibly competitive. We as human beings are always competitive. But I don't think at the end of the day, if you were locked into a room and forced to play Destiny for 24 hours in a competitive setting, you would enjoy yourself. Maybe you would, but I doubt it. Maybe I'm wrong here. But again, I think that their internal way of tracking how to better a class based on KDR is a little silly. Maybe it's not all the information that they're giving us, but okay, let's get past that point and talk about the update itself. So they're gonna change the Titan melee, and I think this is probably the best change barring any of the other nerfs or dropbacks for the solar titan but the idea here is that the titan has always had the shortest melee man that is semi-silly the hunter technically has the longest melee with the throwing knife but if you really don't look at it like that it's pretty much the warlock has the best melee and then it's the hunter sort of and then it's the titan and the titan's melee is incredibly weak because it doesn't have that real lunge effect it doesn't have the range so they're increasing it by 12.5 percent which is I think like 0.4 meters or 0.5 meters, which is nothing. It's really nothing. You're not, I don't think gonna notice that difference too much. I think it's a good change. A 10% increase is nothing like, holy shit, this is overpowered now. But I think it's a good change. That's well recommended. They're gonna decrease the dot time on Sunstrike. Okay, cool. But here's the real kicker. Hammer of Soul, reduce damage resistance during the super by about 10%. And personally, that's not enough. It's still gonna be probably the best super in the game. And the biggest problem with the super isn't necessarily the fact that the hammers are heat seeking and God rockets, basically. It's the fact that when you try to engage a Titan, they just sit there and wreck face because they have so much damn damage resistance. Maybe 10% is enough. I don't think so personally. I like to live in the world where maybe some of the supers don't get damage reductions or the only ones that do get damage reductions are the ones where you have to be in incredibly close range to do so. Hunter Blade Dancer, for example, maybe the Sun Singer, maybe not. I don't know about that one. Maybe the Stormcaller too. I think the Stormcaller does already get a bit of a damage reduction, but it's not as noticeable. The Hunter Blade Dancer does get a little bit one, but it's not as overpowered as it used to be, right? It's a hard line to cross. What do you think about that one? That should be my question. I know where I stand, but I'm curious to know where you guys stand. They're changing the Hammer of Soul. They're gonna slow the travel speed by 1.32%. That's a big change. Holy shit, you're gonna see that for sure. That whole 1.3% speed, holy crap. And technically, since it already flies at basically like the speed of light, you will notice a nice difference, which is good. Then they're gonna change a couple of the passives. And honestly, I don't play enough here of Titan, Sunseeker or Lag of Soul, whatever the class is called, because personally, I'm not a big fan of getting called an overpowered crutch user, which sometimes happens in stream chat and sometimes in Xbox messages when I'm actually playing well. Most of the time I'm not playing like a godsend, so it doesn't get it. So I just like to avoid that by not doing the class any kind of disservice by just not playing it in general. I'm more of a warlock player anyway, but yeah, okay. They're gonna change catapult lift velocity by 5%. I think it's a good change right now. Control burst is probably the best one you wanna use because that gives it that gliding, that skating effect that you can really utilize that I think 
was one of the Titans on stream that made that really popular. I can't remember his name right now. I think someone will, will drop it in the comment section. If you know who I'm talking about, drop it in the comment section. But I think that guy is the one who made it as popular as it is today. And of course, they're changing a couple things for the striker and of course, for the defender. The defender gets the least amount of changes, but I think the good change for it is Ward of Dawn. You recharge grenade and melee abilities on Supercast. That's with the health recharge immediately. It still is arguably the weakest super in the game due to the fact that it's almost counterable by every other super out there, minus like maybe one or two. So I think defenders are still sort of going to luck out. And that sucks. If you're a defender titan, I apologize for you. I think strikers actually walk away with a pretty big increase on here. So Storm Fist, you get an increased base damage by about 18%. You get that melee increase range. All the titans get the melee increase range. Overload now also provides a faster melee recharge by about 50%. It's pretty interesting. Discharge us an additional damage uh, and then change AoE to spherical shape. So instead of it, I think, being like a, a cylinder around you. It's now a spear of damage, which I guess will be interesting to see. I'll have to test that. Amplify, increase super, super energy bonus by 30%. Pretty damn good. Now here's some of the passives that are interesting. Headstrong now also provides faster sprint. Transfusion is improved cooldown from five seconds to three seconds. Unstoppable now it provides a total of two plus armor, one plus additional. And Unstoppable is actually pretty good. You also get an increased damage resistance by 25%. So it's going to be a very nice go-to. Juggernaut improved shield health by about 14%. And Juggernaut now works well airborne. So Strikers coming out really here on top. And then, of course, you get the Catapult Lift. So I think a lot of Titans, if you haven't tried Striker in a bit, go back, test it out, see what you like, see what you're going to go for. But what do you think? Do you think that the Hammer, Lag of Soul class nerfs were enough do you think it was too much what are your opinions i don't play titan that much titan was my original character in vanilla but i played a defender most of the time and i switched obviously to striker for pvp but then when ttk came out i really didn't put too much time in hammer of soul mainly because i like to white knight the game and not use overpowered weapons so people think better of me even though i have a very poor attitude about the community so that's pretty much going to sum it up for me guys i love you all very much i hope you enjoyed today's video a little bit more energy it's because i finished up work today and i i didn't get uh yelled at and my uh stapler didn't get taken so it was a good day i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys probably tomorrow this week for some more videos and yeah peace